you know, offered by Nautical Yacht Group. Asking two million four hundred ninety thousand seventy foot. Okay, let's take a look aboard the Spectre. Beautiful. Oh, it's a Pershing. Okay. Pershing seventy. Two thousand sixteen Pershing seventy. So, I'm Kevin with Nautical Yacht Group. You're on a two thousand and sixteen Pershing seventy. Um, She's kept here locally in Fort Lauderdale. Some unique features about this boat is wide open. She's 46 knots, and our cruising speed is 38 knots. Um, we have the garage in the back, which you saw a second ago, with the Williams 325 jet tender in it. Uh, she's powered by MTU 10B 2000s uh, that are 1,623 horsepower apiece. Come on. And very technologically advanced. Uh, music was playing. I was asking Kevin if there was a way to turn it down. He just pulled out his phone. Why did that whole sound system? This is a window that goes all the way up and down. Oh, that's interesting. So it goes vertical. It does. So we have um, the sliding glass door is integrated in. So when you push it back, the whole thing goes down. And then we can drop it. That's unique. I have not seen that. Salon area. The TV raises up right here. Yeah. I can show you. Okay. Very nice open area. Well, I'm going to show this from back here to really capture how that. So especially when you have that back part open. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm always forgetting to look above, and I know so many have that sunroof feature. You're looking over here and you forget to look right above you. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're going to be heading down. Okay. So down below we have three staterooms. We have the galley to your starboard side with bay head to port. Uh, we have your third stateroom here, complete with uh, twin uh, singles, and then VIP forward. Okay. One nice thing about right here at the base of the stairs, you kind of have an atrium feel. Yes. The uh, windshield above, it's one solid piece of glass, so we always have great daylight in and out of here. Okay. Once you go forward to sure. your VIP, there's mirrors on both sides, so don't let it kind of... Oh wow. I'm... Oh wow, that is... <laughs> I thought the mirror was over there. That is really an optical illusion. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. There is a step yes. up as well. About a so when you said there's a mirror, I'm thinking that side's a mirror, not over. <laughs> no, it kind of adds to wow. you know, it makes it look a little bigger. Yeah. Yeah. So this is your VIP with your ensuite head here as well. Another unique feature about this boat is typically you have just normal sized portholes. Yes. Pershing went ahead and cut it bigger, so your natural daylight is fantastic. So even with the lights off, we don't really lose anything. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna... Oh yeah, I'll follow you and then I'll come back and I'll just get a few, you know, more detailed yeah, shots. I'll, come, I'll okay. come up here and you can do your thing. Washer dryer here. Okay. It's a master saber. Beautiful. Yeah, so she's full beam. She's down in, so our feet are actually below the water line, so we're down in the boat. Um, on sweet head, we have two stand-up lockers here for uh, any long hang storage. I love these windows. That's a unique yeah, design. Yeah, it's beautiful. So, once again, lots of natural light, you know, when you're anchored up somewhere and you look out, you're pretty much looking at water level, which is great. We have a small window right there in the shower. Rain shower head and a wand. The flooring is, look at that flooring for where the, uh, where the drain would be. Something is restricting this. I don't know what. Hmm. I think somebody pushed the door the wrong way or something. Okay, I don't know what's that. Take a look at that flooring over there. Where the drain area would be very cool. And look at the sink, even the way the drain is in the sink. Very ultra modern style. 
And uh, let's go take a look at the rest of this master. I like those windows on the side. You have those flexible reading lights that swivel around. Let me just see something again. So I'm trying to figure out what would be over there behind. We'll have to find out what would be behind there. Probably engine room. Maybe there's a crew quarter. Okay, now you said there's laundry. Here's our laundry machine. It's dual washer dryer. Master door closes all the way here. So when that's closed, we have all this mirror over here and some storage drawers okay so i was trying to see okay here we go a lock of closets hanging storage a lot of space we have that on the other side as well i'm assuming so his and hers perhaps And we'll take a closer look at the other cabins. So this is a head over here, which would also serve as your day head. Hence the door leading right to the galley and stairway and another door leading to this guest room. So that does make the guest room an end suite since it does have direct access to a head or bathroom. Again, a window in the shower area, more of that nice modern style. Let's take a closer look at the galley, four burner top, oven, fridge, hidden behind that panel, fridge and a freezer. This kind of reminds me of the ones from the RV, let me see, is this one of the ones that Okay, never mind, never mind. I thought it was, I, when I saw that, I thought it was a dual where you can open it from either side. No, nope. good old fashioned fridge and freezer. Sink right here. And um, storage space. As well as storage space above. See how that opens up, kind of like you're on an airplane. Of course, everything locks so that when you're at sea, nothing's falling out. And let's take a closer look straight ahead. Okay, we saw this briefly before, but I didn't go into the head yet. Again, some more storage space. Nice. We have a small table on this side and some controls. Table on this side, some more controls. Looks more like light controls on that side. This head kind of looks like the other one that acts as a day head. And in here, I don't believe there is, um, there's no window in this one. Okay, let's go back above deck. You'll see the way that these metal beams are. Very nice. And we have what over here? We have a little miniature version. I'm assuming of this. Yes, 70. So there, I don't have a drone to show you the top, but here, this will suffice. So it's Brian, uh, Drew, Justin, Matt, another Justin, and Josh. They thought they were Justin. Oh my god, they're like the Jay family, like the Duggar, JJJ, Joshana, Jessa, Jack. They're like that family. Okay, these are that kind of that origami. Uh, style to the table where you can open them up like that like we saw on the Pardo yachts. Yeah, I remember on Pardo they had this kind of uh, table where it can open up like that. Ah, so rotate it first. I 
Let's see. Question, in the showers, I couldn't seem to open the shower doors. Why was that? Uh, they definitely open. Okay, I don't want to like push on it. It seemed almost like, like the bottom hinge felt like it was kind of catching, like it was kind of resistant. No? Uh, which shower? The shower doors do come, they open outwards. Yeah. So somebody must have pushed the other one in and we're gonna take a look. But I love that floor, the way the drain is designed on the floor. But it's uh, about the same size it, as that. It, it, it's not videoable at the moment. <laughs> okay, here's the engine room. And there's a hatch over here. Is that leading to the cruise quarter? Yes. Okay. So that's directly, that's the only way to get to the cruise quarters? Yeah, welcome uh, to the inspector. Right oh. Good, good. My name's Rich. So we have chain, wave, plump, I don't know. Okay, oh yeah, we didn't see this. Okay, the grill. Okay. Are you telling me the cruise quarters are somehow underneath that? Or to the side of that? Oh wow. Okay, so that leads down there. And I was gonna say, it's definitely not video. -able. No, no, okay, okay, but we get the idea. Is living down below. Okay, we get the idea though. So for how many people? One. One, one. Remember. And there okay. is a head shower all that. Time. Okay, cool. Nautical Yacht Group's information. Located right here, South Florida, Dania. So that was a 2016 Pershing. Very nice. Hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know by smashing the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already and ring that notification bell so you can come along on future adventures on this channel. I'll see you soon. Thank you.